Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I'm going to be doing another chameleon cell pour. And <clears throat> I thought for this one, I'm going to use some affordable products. And um, so I pulled out my craft paints. And I can't remember the names of them, but I'll list them in the description box. But um, they're Anita's and Apple Barrel. And then for my silicone, I went to the dollar store and I found this lubricant that is marketed like um, it's supposed to be a dupe for WD-40. So I grabbed that and um, thought, you know, I'll give it a go. I, I'm doing this voiceover because I listening back to my video. I am having a fit over how bad that lubricant smelled. It was horrible. I had to open all the windows, the door, everything. So, considering the performance, there's no way I would recommend using that for this technique. But it was, um, it was an experiment, you know, to see how different lubricants perform doing this. Um, and my um my swipe color is artist law flow acrylic um that's the only thing that's not a craft paint none of these paints have silicone in them of course um so i've been able to determine that a wide tooth comb does work better for this technique um i think i need to change up my pore medium because my pore and medium, because it con contains Floetrol, it automatically creates cells. And that's really not what you want to happen. And you'll be able to see when I do the swipe. I really wish I had just left the painting as it was because it, it swiped beautifully. Um, so here I'm just going in and doing my swipe. And of course, when you do a swipe, start in just a little bit don't start at the very edge or you'll get a bald spot um but <laughs> i was looking at this going oh do i really want to ruin it with this with this not ruin it of course but but ruin it because it looks so beautiful um but i had started out to do this chameleon technique and i said nah, i'm already this far in i might as well give it a go but Hindsight's 2020. I wish I had left it as just a swipe. Because the lubricant did not, it, it didn't work well at all. Um, I go into the, the laying down and creating the cells. You'll be able to see. They're just, it's, I found that the thicker the um, the silicone product is the better it works because it holds those cells together um, more tightly and it gives you that really uniform creation so <clears throat> I start at the bottom and just work my way up watching this back I'm just shaking my head like you should have left it as a swipe it was so pretty but the good thing is um, it's easy to reproduce something that looks similar um, just because these paints are really affordable and <clears throat> this, these are the types of paints that I use when I first started pouring and it's, it's just funny to consider that we get away from that sometimes the longer we do um, certain things, you know. And I've moved up to higher quality paints um, and thinking that I have to use those higher quality paints to create something beautiful, but really you can you can do this type of art on a budget um, and 
like the uh, the Anita's metallic it's for an 8 ounce bottle is like $3.99 I think $4.99 and then Hobby Lobby runs a 30% off sale on them at least once a month so and the apple barrel for an 8 ounce bottle is $2.99 at Walmart so these really are um, products that create beautiful art um, at affordable prices. So you don't have to go buy Golden or Liquitex or whatever. Um, and also availability. You know, some people don't have large craft stores available in their area. and But they have a Walmart. So you do have options. Um, if this is something that you want to get into. And I would never recommend a beginner go spend, you know, a ton of money on all these higher end paints without knowing that they actually love doing this technique and it's something that they want to invest in. So I've worked my, my way up and I'm just going to leave the black solid. Um, I can already tell I'm not crazy about this uh, this silicone product that I've used. Um, and after I did this painting, I did go wash the canvas because there was no point in letting it dry. Um, <clears throat> but you know, we learn we learn by experimenting, and um, so this is just one experiment. I'm going to move the camera down and let you guys see up close how the cells look. And you'll understand what I mean when I'm saying that they're looser. They're not as tightly compact. So, you can see here, they take on almost like a square shape. So, yeah. But that's that. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.